What's going on guys? It's Steve and Susanna. And today is July 4th, 2019. Happy uh, Happy 4th of July guys. Hope y'all are having a great one. We're actually in route to the Boardwalk Hotel. Uh, I should say Boardwalk Resort, Disney's Boardwalk Resort. We have reservations with my brother and sister-in-law as well. Uh, if the Flying Fish. Uh, but someplace that me and Susanna have never been before, and I don't believe my brother or his wife have been there either, but it's someplace that we've definitely wanted to try. Um, it's been on our uh, to-do list for quite some time, so we decided let's go to Flying Fish. So, yeah, that's the plan. Flying Fish for dinner, we're in route, on our way to the boardwalk. Why don't you guys come along with us? All right, we'll see you in a minute. Fantastic brother Troy and his gorgeous wife Angelina. We are here at the Flying Fish of Disney's uh, Boardwalk Resort. It's 4th of July, so happy 4th of July to you guys. Um, we had an earlier reservation. We actually had to push our reservation back. We got seated, it's about, what, 7.30, pushing. It's actually eight o'clock. Here's what's gonna happen. We're gonna enjoy the Flying Fish. If we have extra time, we're gonna try to walk over to the International Gateway to World Showcase and catch the fireworks after Illuminations. I think it's like a 50-50 whether we can make that happen or not, but we'll give it a shot. But we're definitely not going to rush our meal at Flying Fish. So, um, if you guys aren't familiar, Flying Fish, it is a seafood restaurant. Um, how would you describe Flying Fish? Like, it's like, what's the theme of Flying Fish? It is, it's not really New England or anything. It's more just like, it's contemporary seafood, right? Um, and you know what, let me, you know what guys, I'm just gonna show you the menu now. It'll make it a lot easier. All right, so let's take a look at the Flying Fish menu. Appetizers, they've got a lobster bisque. They've got, ah, oh, I forgot. I was, I was thinking I was gonna get this, I forgot. Snow crab croquettes. They sounded really good. I may actually end up getting some, you will get the lobster bisque? Okay, well, I, you know what, then when she comes, I'll add the snow crab croquettes. But um, they've got mussels, the pork belly. Um, we've got an order of crispy oysters coming. We already have, um, I think that's all we appetizer have. But we'll add a lobster biscuit and a snow crab croquette when our waitress comes. And then for entrees, they've got sea bass, they've got scallops, they've got swordfish. Um, I got the Wagyu filet mignon. I'm just waiting on that one to come out. I'm very, very excited. I've always heard that the Wagyu filet here, um, Flying Fish, it may be the best piece of meat on Disney property. So we're gonna put it to the test and find out. There is um, the Sardinian seafood pasta. My brother ordered that one. That's got shrimp, lobster, and scallops. That one sounds great. What? Angelina, you got that one too, right? The Wagyu beef or the Wagyu filets. We got two Wagyu filets coming. And Susanna, she got the oat grilled salmon. Um, I did ask, so if you look like the sides, for example, with the salmon, it's cauliflower, silk, and beets. We weren't really feeling that, so they can give you risotto. I think she said they can give you grits. They have a mac and cheese. 
and they have mashed potatoes too. So I think we went with risotto and the potatoes and I actually did the same thing with my filet. Instead of um, asparagus, I got mashed potatoes and mac and cheese. And they do have enhancements that you can add to your, um, to your entrees. You can get a shrimp scampi, um, cold water lobster tail, scallops, and the Spanish octopus. Susanna loves octopus. This is grilled, we found out. So she actually got it essentially as like an um, appetizer. So we have a grilled Spanish octopus coming as well. They do have the, on this side of the menu the full wine list. I'm not going to go through all of that. Maybe I can just kind of walk it down for you guys. And if you see something you want to stop and pause on, you can stop and pause. But that's the full wine menu. All right. So we're just waiting on appetizers to come. And like I said, we're going to add to our appetizer list this lobster bisque and the snow crab croquettes. All right, guys. So the bread service has arrived. Let's see what we've got in the basket. Did she just explain to you guys what kind of bread this was? It's seaweed. Seaweed? seaweed. There's seaweed in there and there's uh, sesame crust. Sesame crust. Seaweed and sesame crust. Yeah. Very good. It it smells very good too. Bread the seaweed the You'll taste it. Okay. It smells good. Can I get a little bit of the um, the butter? Yeah. There's something on the black butter. Pepper. That's black pepper. Alright, so we got a little bit of the black pepper. The bread is so nice and warm. Yeah. Nice and spreadable. Mm. Very good, nice and soft, a lot of flavor. Um, that's an interesting flavor, the seaweed in there, right? How would y'all describe seaweed in bread? It's salty, it is salty, right? Like it's got, it tastes like sea salt, right? That's very good. All right, we'll keep on working on this as we wait for appetizers to come on. So, I think Troy just brought up a good point. When it comes to the bread, because after we cut the video, I was trying to think, how, do you, how would you describe this taste? And I guess, so you taste a lot of sesame, but then like you said, when you actually get a big chunk of the seaweed, it tastes like, um, like sushi in your bread. All right, let's just be honest. I'm not a huge sushi guy. I don't know you're not either, really. So if you, but if, um, a lot of people are. So if you're a big sushi person, you would love it. It's not that I don't like the bread. It's just it tastes like bread and sushi or something. That the big chunks of the seaweed in there. Yeah, it gives it a good flavor. You just don't need a clump of seaweed in there. Okay. All right, but well, hopefully that explains it a little better. Okay. Well, the octopus has arrived. Um, the oysters, what is that on the side of those oysters? Lobster? That. On the side. Those are lemon. Lemon? Oh, it's the lemon. Okay. Can I taste the octopus on it? Can you slice me a piece here? I'll take the camera. Actually, why don't you taste it? Can you taste the octopus? Because you eat octopus more than I do. You know if it's, you know, you know more about the flavors than I do. My beauty. All right. All right. This looks like lobster biz. That is mine. Okay. So the, how was the octopus? Coming? I think I passed the test. It's new for me because Enjoy. I eat the small octopus and uh -huh. the lobster biz. This is really something new. Okay. Very good. Okay. It looks really good. Can I? Cut, can you cut me a small taste of it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, of course. I'm gonna try octopus for the first time. I've never had octopus before. Or I don't believe I have. This is a good place to try. It. Yeah. yeah. She loves it. So. Can you cut that piece in half? What? Okay, okay, let's go ahead. Big boy, you got this. Okay. You're right, you're right about that. Okay. Oh, wow. Is that nice? Yeah. Very good. Nice flavor. You're welcome. I guess the lemon on it. It's got a nice grilled flavor to it. Yeah. Octopus isn't bad at all. Yeah, but I was waiting it will be a little bit more. I did it. One piece. Well, okay, so this is a crab croquette. No. <clears throat> I think basically it's a crab cake, but it's a crab croquette. A little bit of the sauce, looks like it's on the mustard. Got the lettuce and the tomatoes. Thank you. Mm. Oh, wow. Is it tasting great? Yes, very good. And this is snow crab croquette. Not blue crab, but snow crab. It's nice and dense. Not a lot of filler, crispy on the outside. I love the little mustard. I want to get this tomato too. Not to have your full hand. You want it with the lemon? I 
Wow. That is so good. So, so far, appetizer wise, octopus is a 10. Crab croquette, snow crab croquette, 10. Lobster biz, 10. Yeah, I give it 10. Yeah. Angelina oysters. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's work on our appetizers. We'll see you guys in a little bit. <laughs> all right, so all the entrees have arrived, so it's time to start tasting. Let's jump into uh, the Wagyu beef um, on top of the risotto. All right, so here we go. We've got the Wagyu beef on top of the risotto. Looks actually really good. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna slice it. Let's see, look. Oh, it's nice and soft. Oh, oh there it is. Cooked medium, just the way I ordered it, the way I asked for it. Wow. Mm. That's really, really, really special. That's a special piece of meat. Let me cut this one more time. Try and get a little bit bigger piece. <clears throat> it's cooked perfect. And it's medium. That is definitely medium. Wow. Oh my god. Can you tell the difference between this one and the last one? That's it. It's a little bit, it's a different style. Um, this meat is almost like, this is your meat butter. It's, it's dissolves, it's creamy. Mm-hmm. It dissolves, it's nice and creamy. Um, it's phenomenal. It's, the, it's very, very good. Wow. Okay. Well, we're going to talk about that more as I keep eating it, but let's try the risotto. Mm. Risotto is very good. Nice and creamy, and it is cheesy. I think there's a wine sauce on the risotto, too. You got the risotto? It's a wine sauce on it. Mm. Parmesan cheese? Yeah, there's a lot of Parmesan cheese on it. Asiago. Asiago cheese is on it, too. Now, the mac and cheese, the, she did tell us it wasn't going to be like the most fancy mac and cheese, and it's, it's probably not, but we'll try it. Mac and cheese is standard, which is what we expected it to be, so nothing, nothing special with the mac and cheese. All right, now, let's take a look at your salmon. You want me to cut a piece? Yeah. Okay, well, I'm going to cut a piece of the salmon. This is uh, wood grilled salmon. This is on top of potatoes, mashed potatoes. Cooked well done. Oh my. Mm. Very good. It's blackened, it's black pepper on it. It's perfect. Very good. You're going to enjoy that. And the potatoes. Very nice mashed potatoes. Not super creamy, not super like you know milky or creamy, but just just a nice mashed potato. I think that's the way it should be. Cause I don't think I would want things like mashed potatoes drowning out the flavor of the meat that it's being served on top of. So it's really, really good. Troy, I'm not going to dip into yours, but how are you enjoying it? Very good. That's lobster tail, scallops, fish shrimp. What is on pasta. top of them? What is that on top of pasta? Right? This is yep yeah, pasta. And this is. Uh, Looks really Similar flavor to what was in the uh, lobster bisque. Like the lobster bisque? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And Angie, you got what I got. You like yeah. this, right? Mm -hmm. Alright guys, we'll keep working on this and we'll uh, see you guys in a few minutes. I had to go back on and just talk more about this Wagyu beef. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's my first time ever having a Wagyu filet and it will definitely not be the last time. It is. It's unreal. Um, as you get to the center and it's cooked medium, it's so tender and soft. You were right, Troy. Like you said, you, you don't have to chew it. It literally will just dissolve in your mouth. It is the craziest thing. Phenomenal. Absolutely amazing. Um, and I think it, it just hits It hits on such high levels when you put it on top of that better risotto. That was definitely a good move to do the risotto as a side. I'm just blown away by this. You guys have got to try it. I mean, I'm going to talk about it more, but you've got to come to Flying Fish and get this Wagyu for it. It is, it's unreal. I'm not trying to overhype it or, yeah, I'm not trying to overhype it. And I'm definitely not overhyping it. It is just, it is that good. All right, so one dessert has come to the table. It is the one and only, because everybody else is so full. But this is, what was it called now? Florida Sunset. It's, um, 
It's a vanilla custard. It's got raspberries, blueberries. That looks like peach orange slices. White chocolate. What is it? Lemon broth. Try it, somebody. All right, let's give it just a little yeah. taste. I'll take a little blueberry with it. You didn't give me the um. Oh my goodness. It's very sweet. Sweet, but it's really, really, really good. I taste the vanilla cream, the lemon, the fruit. It's very light. That orange flavored sugar. I don't even know what that is on the outside. <laughs> orange flavored sugar. How would you describe it? Uh, it's good. It's, it's very. It's, it's very light though. It's a very citrusy light dessert. It's very sweet. It's not heavy at all. That's a win. I'll let y'all eat that. I'm not gonna haul that from you guys, but this is dessert is very good. Honey, your turn. Since it's my style. It's this one is definitely. Your style. It goes very well with rice. Mm. You like it? Yeah, it's very good. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's, it's a nice like dessert. It's very good at Fresh eating. like summer cake. Mm -hmm. It tastes like a fruit, like different colors. Yeah. Berries and everything. Nice and fresh. Yeah. Y'all enjoy it. Alright, well, we just finished up at the Flying Fish. I'd say for our first experience, it was very, very good. Let's talk about the meat. Wagyu beef. Amazing. Flavor was amazing, cooked perfectly, true meat butter. I mean, just the way that I always envisioned that Wagyu beef should taste. It, it was really, really, really good. Um, I know mine was great. Angelina, she had the Wagyu beef. She loved hers as well. So Wagyu beef is a must do if you come to the Flying Fish. Let's talk about the salmon. <clears throat> salmon was good. Susanna, she stated, and I kind of agree with her, the, 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 the grilled salmon at the Yachtsman Steakhouse is better. I'm going to say it right now. The salmon here was good, but the salmon at the Yachtsman is better. So some, but some, she didn't enjoy the potatoes at all. Yeah, that's, just, that's the next thing. So the, the potatoes here, they're, they're very bland, really. Like it's, just, it's a potato with butter. There's no like cream or anything like that. No garlic. It's, it's a very kind of just bland potato. But then I was thinking maybe... But well, thing is, I was thinking maybe they do that on purpose, is to not like over overpower the meat or something. You taught you taste. I didn't taste anything sweet, but you're you're very sensitive to tasting sweet stuff in the potatoes. But um, the mac and cheese, we were already warned that like, the mac and cheese was going to be a very basic mac and cheese. It was very basic. It may be the same mac and cheese that I don't know. Like, you might get it a quick service. So. Do not do the mac and cheese. If you wanted to try some of the different sides, the risotto was really good. Um, or even just do the mashed potatoes, which was, I'm neutral on the mashed potatoes. Um, Troy's seafood pasta with the shrimps, clams, lobster. That was what, yeah. Scallops. 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 Sorry. Scallops. Scallops. Not, not, not the most impressive dish. I tasted it. Troy and I talked about it after he was done and he was kind of, it's not uh, the, the quality of the seafood. Is, was it fresh? It was fresh. There was nothing wrong with it. It today. just wasn't anything. That, it wasn't what I would have expected it to be at the yeah. flight. I can tell by looking at it, like the shrimp just looked kind of. It was good. It looked generic. It, it was good. It, everything was fresh. I'm not yeah. Gonna, and but the flavor. The presentation. Yeah, and it was pretty on the plate. I think what it comes down to here. Oh, let's back up. Hold on. So let's talk about the apps because the apps are awesome. Mine was good. But I think, let's see, Susanna, you had the, the octopus, grilled octopus. Very, very, very good. It's not a lot. It's more like a, you know. It was one, tender. It wasn't tough. Sometimes we get it and it's chewy. Yeah, this was, this, was this was nice and this was nice and tender, not chewy. Um, yeah, you want, and I guess they, they, they grilled it just correctly. They kind of have nice texture to it. Your oysters were very, very good. Your oysters were awesome. I enjoyed the oysters. But I gotta say, aside from the Wagyu beef, in my opinion, I don't know how y'all feel about it, I think the best dish on the table was your lobster bisque. The lobster bisque was on point. The lobster bisque yeah. was just something no, else, right? Good. I would almost say that we were saying, like, I would come here just I for lobster that, bisque. I could make that a meal. Yeah. yeah. The nice, like, loaf of bread, the bread service, yeah. along with the lobster bisque. Lobster bisque is on another level. On another level. Yeah. Yeah, but um, so my recommendations, our recommendations would probably be come here, do that Wagyu beef, enjoy that filet, 
you're gonna be blown away by it. We were blown away by it. It's awesome. And um, yeah. Yeah, the atmosphere is gorgeous. The, it's, it really is. It's a, it's a romantic setting. It can be used for a lot of different reasons, but it's a gorgeous it's restaurant. Good. It's, it's, it's good you enjoyed the oysters, I know you. Yeah. But the, oh, that's true. Did it have caviar on the oysters? Yeah. Just enough to give it a little bit of a fish taste, like a mm -hmm. little bit of that bit fish of flavor. Mm -hmm. Everything was good. The dessert was good. Um, but definitely, I, I have to say here from from the from the items that we had from the land. On the table versus items from the sea. I think items from the land won. The, 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 the Wagyu beef won on this table, aside from your lobster bits. But um, I guess yeah, that's a, so that's a wrap on flying fish. We'll definitely be back here again, right? Would y'all come back? I think so. I would. would you come back for the for, for the Wagyu beef? You I know you try it. I, I would be a hard toss up between this and the yachts. Between this one and the yachts. Yeah. 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 But I would come back. I would come back. Well, it's a different style. Yeah. Well, when you bring up the Oscar, it's a different style. It's just a different flavor. It it's a different style. But no, I would definitely come back here. Yeah, I'm not knocking this at all. Yeah. I think, with, I think the thing with the Yachtsman is, like we were saying before we cut the camera on, is the Yachtsman has that mac and cheese, it's got the potatoes are gratin, and that pull apart bread. Yeah, all American. Like I say, it's, yeah. it's just a whole different style. It's a different style. It's, it's a different style. style. Cooking, it's just different. But for the meat itself, that white your beef, very, very good. Awesome. I wish, I would love to take that piece of Wagyu beef, take it about two, like uh, 300 yards that way to the yacht club, <laughs> and set it down on top of their mac and cheese and potatoes, and then maybe we were like, we're, we're in heaven at that point. So, but anyway, <laughs> you can't have it all. Yeah, you can't have it all. <laughs> I wonder if I could make a request then. Can I order the Wagyu beef from here? Can you match it up with the potatoes? But that's not even fair because the filet at the yachtsman is phenomenal that's too. So they're both really, really good. So anyway, that's our, that's our wrap then here, guys, on the flying fish. Come check it out. I, it, it's a must do, if, especially if you're doing a dining plan. Why would you not want to use this for your dining credits? Such a good way to use your dining credits. I mean, I, I, I would use this 10 times a Sunday over Ohana. <laughs> <laughs> and I know I, I know that upsets some people, but I bash Ohana a lot. But I mean, I would come here ten times any day of the week over Ohana or something. So anyway, okay, so that's a wrap on this. We're dragging this on. Yeah. Hey. Ohana's is a must. If it's, not, a, if, yeah. if it's a once in a lifetime trip, or you yeah. come once every five years, sure. Like, oh, if you're on the dining plan, I'm not gonna. Yeah. Like, sorry, but I will not spend that much money at. There is the something special about just eating at the Polynesian, I think. So oh, yeah. that's the whole thing. Yeah. Just just going to the Polynesian, just having a yeah, yeah. having a meal at the Polynesian. But you know they got a cafeteria. <laughs> they got Captain Hooks downstairs. You can save some like good Captain Hooks and get some coconut meatballs. But uh, turning this into a hot sauce. We're bashing a hot sauce. I'm gonna do some editing. But some people take it very personally. When you say something negative about Ohana, some people will defend Ohana to the grave. I mean, they don't like hearing. It. But it, but I, was, the experience we had was, it was the, it was terrible. And I've said it before. I'll say it again. But. Uh, Huh? Now, one, you know, you know, let's leave Ohana alone for a minute. You're right. Let's discuss the. Let's, yeah, let's discuss the prices. I didn't even think about that. So you're right. Comparing this to Ohana's and the yachts and stuff. The, well, is it more? A couple items. True. It is on the. We're on the night of the fourth. So some tables in Wonderland blacked out. Tables in Wonderland blacked out, and they could be doing some price mods for today or something, but. I don't know if it's that much more. Yours was in, yours was forty two dollars. My bill was less tonight than it was the night we went to the yachtsman. Yeah. And I was able to use my table to lower a discount. And, and I it reminded me they don't have wagyu beef on the menu at Yachtsman, do they? Yeah, so I don't know that it's really more. I don't think you're really spending more here. No, I don't think so. No, I don't Like we've said like we've said before, like when you your two table service credit dining options at Disney. On average, it's like 50 bucks a person. You just have to average somewhere around 50. So the Wagyu beef was 62, right? So you, so you pay the extra couple dollars for it, but you're also getting Wagyu beef. So you're paying I think it was up to me because I think on my menu it was 57. So it might have been. So I think they went up a few dollars or something. Like that. So they might be. So it might settle back down tomorrow. Yeah. Makes sense. No, it wasn't bad. I don't no? know. I'm not saying it was high what we got. Yeah. I'm saying I did. I. It was less. Oh, for so you were for, happy with it. It was less for me to here, even without using tables and well, that's fine. and just using the annual pass discount. 
than it was when I used Table in Wonderland at the Yachtsman. So I thought you were saying that you thought it was too expensive. Well, more expensive here I than it, I thought it was going to be yeah. more than what it was. No, I think the bill came in yeah. great. Yeah. yeah. No, it I definitely. Thought, I thought it was going to be high. Yeah. No, it's um. So all in all, then I, I I give the flying fish I give the flying fish a pass. I say did I say that right? A pass? Yeah. No. Do I give it a pass or I give it a go? Give it a go. I thought. Okay. Give it. We give the flying fish a thumbs up. Don't. No. I might have. Maybe it's in my wine sauce or something. No. No. I give the flying fish. I think we would all give it like a. It's a do. It's a definitely. It's a place to come and eat and enjoy it. So it's definitely. Look, we said we were going to do the fillet at the Yachtsman. We're going to do the fillet here. We got to get over to the Brown Derby. We got to get to La Cellier. We got to get to California Grill. But um, between this one and the Yachtsman and Gico, so, yeah. But between this one and the Yachtsman, it's different. But I have to give it. I have to give it some. I go Yachtsman. Okay, I'm just gonna do it. I have to pick one. It's and maybe tomorrow morning when I wake up, I'll change my mind. But I think I give this one. It's so close between Yachtsman fillet versus the Wagyu beef fillet here. I think you know it's, it's probably it's probably the sides that are that are bumping up the Yachtsman. Just that the potatoes and the mac and cheese and stuff. But it's got a more flavor preference than actual maybe, maybe the maybe the maybe the fillet at Yachtsman has a little more salt on it or something. Just a little bit more salt or something. I'm really trying to be, they're so close, but you have to pick one, all right? I mean, you can't just say like they're equals, but then you're just gonna, depends on the mood. Like, this is much quieter. The atmosphere inside of here is a lot quieter. You can have like a nice quiet conversation. It, it's actually weird, but the Yachtsman echoes. This restaurant, or maybe it's the thick curtains and stuff. <laughs> it kind of, it captures, it captures the sound or something. It's not like your normal Disney restaurant where you can't hear yourself. Hence why we have to stick a special microphone on camera so you can hear our voices when we're talking. But um, um, anyway, this is gone. Yeah, yeah, we'll do it again. Well then, I think that's a wrap on this video. Guys, happy 4th of July to everybody out there. Uh, quick shout out to all the new subscribers out there. If you're new to the channel, Now's a great time to hit the little subscribe button down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. And let us know down in the comments. Have you been to the Flying Fish? Did you enjoy it? What, what was your take on the Wagyu beef or the, the lobster bisque or any of the other items that we discussed or had tonight? But anyway, guys, take care. Adios, baka. I'm tired. Goodbye. We'll see you all later. Take care.